Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Plumpy Man here. Uh, just doing another little video. Gonna make this one kind of short and sweet. Just wanted to show something I picked up here in my local town. And there's kind of something behind why I picked it up, but that'll be in a later video. And I hope you guys enjoy it, but... Um, you guys know I collect guns and knives and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, into video games and... Um, basically with my knives and my guns, I like to store them and decent cases and stuff but as you know some of the cases out there are pretty freaking expensive and there's some cheaper basically cases and stuff like that they're pretty good quality that you can pick up that uh, some people frown on them just because they are cheaper made but they're pretty solid quality things like uh, like the pelican cases they run pretty expensive and this thing, I would put it right up there with a Pelican case. It's pretty sturdy. I'm a big old boy, and if I can stand on a case, I'm a big dude. You guys know that, Plumpy. But uh, if I can stand on a case and don't break, it's pretty solid. <laughs> like, just saying. And uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and show what it is. It's the Apache 3800 from Harbor Freight. Um, they got these things. They're normally around... 45 bucks somewhere around in there. I think they're like 44.99 on the regular price um, I do not know the dimensions of this case uh, But I do know well basically it's the exact same dimensions as a pelican 1450 series I do know that but I don't even know those exact dimensions um, internal and out, outside but pretty solid it's got your pressure relief um, Valve here um, so if you want to tighten it or loosen it to let pressure off from inside the case or tighten it to keep it water tight I know it's IP65 waterproof and dust proof rated um, Pretty sturdy. I don't know what the drop test is on it like a Couple meters whatever. I know it's pretty like I said if someone as big as me can stand on it <laughs> Don't break it's pretty solid and the cool part about it, it's got a nice very nice grip handle on it um and it's big enough to do like if you're going to use it for like sidearm something like that you can easily put two to three uh smaller size or two normal size firearms in this um, i plan on using it for some blades um the clasps on them or the handle sorry pretty solid i mean and the lockup on it i mean it's it's not easy to unclasp those they're pretty solid I'll let you hear it um, when I do lock it up. I mean, it's it locks up freaking tight and will not come loose. Um, it does have, on each side, it has basically drilled out holes with steel. Well, I guess they're steel. Maybe aluminum, but I think it's steel, uh, basically, inserts to where you can run a padlock through both sides so no one can get through or get in it. That way you can have it locked. Um, and one thing... A lot of people don't even know about this case but is this little panel here um, I figured out I actually called them and talked to them and what it is it's a little plate if you open the lid ugh, go ahead and show you here but if you open the lid what this is um, well, I can't get it to do it now <laughs> but you can take this plate off and put you a name plate in there or whatever it's basically just slides out uh, Oh, it fell out already. <laughs> it fell out inside, but this little plate comes out, and you can put some stickers on it, whatever. You can engrave it, paint it, put your name on it, whatever, and it just slides back in place. Um, basically, in the center here. Anyway, it just slides back in there, and you can have your little name plate or whatever in it. But I picked up this case. It is the Pluck Foam, as you guys can see take this out of here and it's pretty good quality foam I actually have two of these I have an orange one that I keep my knives in now and you basically just pluck out uh, about a one and a half inch square all the way through here and you have little individual slots for your knives that's what I used it for um, on my other one um, I'm gonna be using it for something else different kind of but that's why I picked this thing up and if you guys are interested in one of these you can get them for a pretty freaking good deal and I picked this up for 30 bucks well it's actually $32 after tax they're normally 45 
but this thing is solid for thirty dollars basically um, they have the only way you can do that is if you keep an eye out on Harbor Freight they have uh, 20% off coupons and sometimes they actually have 25% off coupons so you could get it actually even a little cheaper I use a 20% off coupon um, it was already on sale I think there were mm, 38 bucks and then I used the 20% off coupon which made it basically 20 or 30 bucks plus tax on top of that so it was like $32 but definitely if you guys are interested in a solid nice case um, they come in multiple different colors they come in black um, they come in this FDE flat dark earth and they come in a bright orange I have the bright orange one um, it's actually in my safe right now but uh, yeah just want to tell you guys that check keep an eye out on Harbor Freight and you can pick these up at your local Harbor Freight if you have that 20% off coupon just watch them um, usually once a month they come out with one of those now so you can pick up any one item in the store if it's not like a main manufactured item for 20% off but anyway, that's it. I wanted to share that. That's the Apache 3800. And uh, if you guys need a good solid freaking case for around 30 bucks, I would rate this right up there with freaking uh, Pelican. Definitely the Pelican 1450. Uh, I don't know if it's got the exact same standards, but for what you're going to use it for and do, it's going to be about the exact same for a third of the cost. I think a Pelican runs around close to $200, somewhere around in there. That's a, almost the same specs for 30 <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. A nice find. that, And you'll know why I got this um, in the next video, basically, when you see this. After you see this, basically. So, that's it. The Apache 3800. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.